at the risk of uh, sounding flip, um, you know, the Japanese could have surrendered. Well, yes, <laughs> that, that's a very good point. Yeah. We, we sort of laughed because if you know anything about the Japanese at that time, they were not going to surrender uh, without taking quite a bit more punishment. But, uh, you know, as of, as I, as I said earlier, as of June, July, 1944, once they've lost the Mariana Islands, it's become clear, at least to the top rank of their civilian and military leadership that they've lost this war. And the rational thing to do at that point would have been to seek an armistice, uh, even if that involved allowing the occupation of their homeland. Now, of course, they really weren't able to do that because it, it would have essentially caused Japan to descend into civil war. You would have had an army coup d'etat. But, um, you know, short of that, by by early 1945, no, I, I really don't think that there was any, any action that the Japanese could have taken, uh, which would have altered the course of the war at that point. 